Hi, my name is Eric, and uh, this is the gear I'm going to be selling. Um, so this is the main thing I'm selling, uh, this black track right here. And then these are the two accessories which I'm going to be giving you. Anyways, so um, this is an early 80s version, um, Pazgat Fragmentation Vest. Also referred to as a flak jacket or flak vest, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this is real. This is made of real Kevlar. This is a uh, U.S. military issue. Um, and, uh, you know, again, it's the Pazgat vest, fragmentation vest. It was designed to stop um, grenade fragmentation and uh, can stop up to a 44 Magnum um, if kept in uh, like good condition. Um, this is in pretty good condition. I mean, there's signs of wear on it, such as little um, bomb cords, if you uh, know what I'm talking about. Um, but, uh, you know, great working condition, and, uh, so, it looks great. Um, so, uh, yeah, so it's made of real Kevlar. Um, I weighed it in, it was really hard putting it on the scale, you know, keeping it on since it's kind of, a uh, big and floppy. Um, so I didn't get a real accurate reading, but it's somewhere around, uh, 10 pounds, um, is what it said. Um, but when it's on your body, you know, it's, it's distributed really well, so you don't really feel it as much. It doesn't, you know, like when you're holding it out with your arm, it might feel really heavy, but when you put it on, um, it's actually pretty comfortable. So, um, uh, again, yeah, Kevlar, uh, the thickness of it, just to show you how thick it is, right there. So, this is my finger, so a little bit less than my finger, so it's, uh, pretty thick, um, it's, it's, um, you know, it's pretty, it's not, I wouldn't say floppy, but I would say it's, uh, it's easy to move around in. It's not, it's not some big bulky thing that you can't move around in, um, but it's not so floppy that's going to be just loose on your body. Um, it's, it's nice, basically. It's intermediate. Um, so it's obviously, as you can see, woodland camouflage. Um, so the vest consists of the actual vest part itself, and then two shoulder pieces, which are also, this whole thing's Kevlar, so... Um, and that's held on by these button things right here, and also on the back. Um, the vest is not adjustable, um, it's, these things are just elastic, but, uh, so you can't really adjust it. Um, so, so on the outside you have right here, um, I guess what today would be called, um, Molly webbing, I guess, right here, and right here, but I don't know what it was used for back then. Um, it has two pouches on each side. Um, I used an M14 and it has, uh, you can put an M14 mag in there, um, and still have room on the top. Uh, it cannot fit two mags though. Um, I mean, you can try, but it might not fit that well. Um, so it's pretty decent sized. There's my hand. Um, so, you know, about a hand size. Um, pockets. Uh, again right here, I guess you can put something like maybe a radio pouch or something with just one molly strap in the back of it. Um, so it's held together again by the elastic in the back. And then in the front there's Velcro right there. And then also a little bit of Velcro right there. And you see it there. Um, so on the inside it's like OD. Uh, and then right here just some labeling and instruction on uh, how to clean it, I guess. Um, inside, there's a field manual, I guess, use and care of body armor, fragmentation, protective vests, ground troops, whatever. Um, I haven't really taken it out and looked at it, so whatever, it's a little pocket thing. Um, so, size is medium. Uh, so I don't think you can read this, but says medium chest from 37 to 41 inches, um, NATO size 70, 80, 9404. Um, so I guess if you're wondering about fit, I wear a size medium in shirts and uh, fits me just fine. It's actually a perfect fit for me, um, it, but it's, uh, it, it's, it's enough room to like uh, move around, you know. So if you do wear like a size large, um, it'll fit you just fine also. Um, my brother wears a size large and... He fits into it just fine, too. Um, but if you are smaller than a size medium, um, then it might be a little loose for you. But other than that, um, it should fit pretty good. So, put this down.
Alright, so, um, again, yeah, the shoulder piece. This is also a little neck piece. It folds out, you know, um, so it protects your neck, which is also a good thing for airsofting. I've been shot in the neck many times, um, so this actually has been, has come in use. Uh, yeah, so, um, also, if you're wondering about distance from shoulder to the bottom, uh, I actually haven't measured it, but I will say that it's not so short that, you know, you're going to be, like, showing your belly button, um, but it's not too long where it's going to, uh, you know, hinder your movement, like, moving, um, down and up, trying to, you know, squat down or anything like that, so it's, uh, again, it's a good, good fit, I would say. Um, so yeah, that's the vest, uh, I think I covered pretty much everything about it. Uh, I'm also throwing in this, uh, just a standard woodland, um, boonie hat. Um, you know how that works, there's a little webbing, I guess you can call it all around, little ventilation things, um, so yeah, pretty standard boonie hat. And also a shoulder holster, uh, you know how this works, there's a little pistol holster part of it, and it can come off these two clips. Um, and then on the other side, it has two mag pouches, um, held on by a Velcro. And this can also be attached, um, uh, and put on the other side, so if you were left-handed, this would go on this side, you know, so you can switch it, so it's all, both for right and left-handed people. Um, it's in black, as you can see. Uh, it is made by Ace. It is not some cheap brand, um, you know, this thing is made of good quality material, um, so, yeah. Uh, so, I'm gonna be asking $60 for these, for this vest, and, um, the two accessories, um, which is a good deal, you can look online, um, you know, the closest one you'll find is like $100, uh, so, this is again, in pretty good condition, I mean, there's just barely little tiny signs of wear, but otherwise in great condition, um, and don't ask me, hey, I don't want the booty hat, I don't want the shoulder holster, can you lower the price, um, no. The price is really just for the vest. I'm just adding in those accessories, you know, to make the deal a little better. But if you don't want the hat, then just tell me, but I'm not going to lower the price um, because of that. So, uh, yeah, price is uh, pretty firm. So, uh, yeah, thank you.